Uh, hey, before we start, uh, uh, a quick uh, look at the world markets. Uh, the world markets are looking very good. Uh, as you can see here, um, it is up over 1.2%, like uh, US market is up 0.5 to 1%, uh, whereas uh, Europe is also in green and Asia is almost up to 2.5%. 2, 2 uh, now let us uh, look at the index heavyweights. Um, here you can see that uh, as far as the index heavyweights are concerned, the HDFC bank is uh, looking bearish. Uh, it has uh, last two days, uh, you know, low has been broken here. You know, this is the last two days range. Uh, you can see that has been broken here. So it has uh, a very st uh, strong resistance at uh, 1650, and uh, I don't see any support uh, other than at. Uh, 1640 levels uh, see if you come to the one hour uh, time frame uh, you can see that you know there is generally a support area which is coming at you know the 200 sma is coming so you can generally say that a 1640 is a good support for the um, hdfc bank as of now um, next coming to the icic bank quickly uh, icic bank is clearly bullish um, they are it has got very good support at 951. So any dip to 951 is a buy for a target of 960. So this will have an impact on the bank nifty directly. Uh, similarly, um, if we come to Reliance, see Reliance was in the range for the last two days here, see yesterday's, and now today's range at the end it was broken. Uh, so Reliance is bearish as of now. Um, resistance can be seen at uh, 2776. Uh, whereas, uh, you know, if we go back, uh, there is not uh, much of a support other than the support we have see here at 2745. Now, if this support is broken, that is 2739, uh, we can see further downside to 2710. So, Reliance is also bearish. Now, coming to Nifty, see Nifty is generally supported by, today it was supported by, you know, Nifty uh, IT uh, that has uh, mainly infi and uh, uh, tcs supported with a 2.2 percent uh, uptick uh, reliance as such did not support the bank nifty so nifty you see went up gap open but after that it could not uh, sustain at the higher levels and it has come down so with this we can see there is a very strong uh, resistance at um, 19460 uh, uh, and uh, reasonably good support can be seen here if we go back uh, this is the support level about uh, 19th, uh, you know, 360 is a very good support. Let us consider three scenarios here. Scenario one, if suppose as per the gift nifty, it is bank, uh, you know, in nifty is opening here at uh, you know, above 19,460 levels, then you can wait for a consolidation. And if it breaks uh, 19,570, then it, there will be a good up move. However, if the nifty consolidates here at 19,460, and it show weakness here and starts coming below you can sell it for a target of clear target of 19365 uh, if the nifty open uh, flat uh, i would prefer to sell for any uh, rally towards 19460 and any weakness from there will be a sell we can keep a target of about 19380 uh, uh, levels uh, if the nifty gap down uh, and any consolidation here at 19360, 19370. So then we can see again a target of about uh, 19470, uh, provided it clears 19400. Okay. So now coming to the Bank Nifty very briefly. See, Bank Nifty, see here, ICICI Bank is bullish and uh, HDFC is bearish. Uh, as you can see, that the Bank Nifty has got very strong resistance because this gap has been filled now so this strong resistance is there at uh, 44800 tomorrow if the bank nifty opens about 44800 consolidates and move above 44932 then it's going to be bullish for a target of 45136 however if the bank nifty starts cons you know uh, consolidating here and after that it breaks below 44800 uh, then I will you will get a clear target of about 44,500. So if the bank nifty open flat and it uh, you know any rally to 44,800 will be a good selling opportunity for a target of 44,500. 
if the bank nifty open gap down let us say here if it gaps down here <coughs> to 44 500 levels <coughs> any consolidation here um, can be a buying opportunity uh, however if it is, starts getting weakened so we can sell below 44 400 only not before that so 44 400 below we get a good move to 44 200 levels but it will not be any uh, uh, no point in selling below 44 500 wait for uh, the 44 400 to be broken and then only uh, sell for a target of 44 200 uh, for good risk reward ratio thank you very much have a nice trading session tomorrow morning